What up, folks? Yes, in this one, we're going to be taking a look at how to do that fake anamorphic style lens flare. It's real quick, real easy, and you can do it in both the free and studio versions of DaVinci Resolve. Now, this works best with nighttime or dark footage when you've got a real obvious light source, like the examples I used at the beginning of this video. Spoiler alert, this one's dead easy. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to grab my footage and just put it on my timeline. Then we're simply going to open up our effects library, come down to open effects, and then scroll down about halfway-ish until you get to this area here, Resolve FX Light. And you want to grab this glow effect. So we're going to grab the glow and we're going to drop it onto our footage like so. And you'll immediately see all the light sources will start to glow. Now this is also a way to do a easy bloom style effect in DaVinci Resolve, but I'll probably talk about that in more detail in a different video. For this one, we're going to stick to anamorphic. Once you've applied that effect, give it a click on your timeline so the footage is highlighted in red like so. Open up the inspector, top right hand corner. We're going to click on the effects tab and then you've got all of your glow settings here. If you don't see the settings, just click on the word glow to expand that like so. To actually apply the effect, I like to work backwards. So I'll come down here to brightness and I'll just set that all the way up to full. Just for now, it just makes it easier to see what we're working with. Then I go to this HV ratio. This stands for horizontal vertical ratio. So if I drag this to the left, we'll get these vertical streaks. If I drag it to the right, we'll get these horizontal streaks, which look much more like our anamorphic effect. Then with those set, I'll increase the spread so I can choose how much or how wide this flare is. So I'm just gonna go all the way right across the screen. And then we can change the shine threshold. Now the lower the threshold, the brighter the light sources are gonna be, like so. So we get a little bit more bloom, we get sort of less contrast, that sort of thing. If we increase it up, it lowers the effect. So I'm just going to come down and just get the effect looking roughly as I want it. Now, obviously, it's too bright because what we can then do is come down and just reduce the brightness. But I find it much easier to set all of the other settings while the brightness is up nice and high. Underneath there, you've got this glow framing. It's currently set to reflect in camera. I think it looks better if you set it to vignette. What that means is all of these little light sources will get darker towards the edges. So again, I'm just going to put my brightness up so you can see this a little bit better. So you can see at the moment it gets a little bit darker around the edges. If I change that to reflect in camera, the edges remain really, really bright. So I just like it set to vignette. The last thing to really sell the effect is this colorize area. Click on the white box to bring up your color picker. And then you just pick the color of this lens effect. So currently it's set to white. There is a little bit of color coming through. You can see a bit of red or a bit of pink in the middle here. What I like to do is to pick a color which works with all of the light sources. So we've got reds, pinks, blues, that sort of thing. So I'm going to go with, let's have a look at a blue. That works. That looks pretty cool. Red, maybe. It's a bit too red. Let's go somewhere in the middle. A nice sort of neon pink, purple. I think that looks really cool. Click on OK, and there we go. And then if we hit play, we've got this real nice looking lens effect. And then if you want to see how dramatic the effect is, see a before and after, just come up to where it says glow. You've got this little toggle. You can just toggle it off and on and look how much better that looks. And let's say I want to just apply the same effect to this footage as I did to this footage. So we're going to click on this footage. We're going to hit Control and C on our keyboard. We're then going to click on our second footage, the footage we want to copy to, and then we're going to hit Alt and V, and this paste attributes will appear. Just untick everything, so you can do so by ticking this video attributes if they're already ticked, and then just tick plugins, and then apply, and that will copy all of those glow effects to this second bit of footage. We can then just go into the inspector, effects, and a mess with all of the things if we want to. Again, I think this works pretty well and actually makes the footage look much, much cooler. And there you go, that's it. Free anamorphic style effect in DaVinci Resolve. Can't ask for much more than that, can you?